Science is such a broad term, covering the smallest cells and structures inside of us to the big questions out there in the universe. With so many researchers tackling so many projects, the scientific community continues to make brilliant advancements each day. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we will be looking at three recent discoveries. New evidence of recent volcanic activity on Mars raises the possibilities of subterranean life. Spring of 2021 has seen the publication of a recent study, suggesting volcanic activity on Mars and, perhaps more excitingly, outlining the impact this could have upon alien subterranean life. Researchers from the University of Arizona Lunar and Planetary Laboratory found what has been described as a dark deposit, around a 30-kilometer fissure on Mars. A fissure is a volcanic vent that lava can burst through. This fissure, known as the Cerberus Fosse system, could be the most recent area of volcanic activity on Mars, having erupted as recently as 50,000 years ago, which is relatively recent despite it sounding so long ago. The explanation behind the fissure's recent eruption is currently that the magma erupted when it came into physical contact with gases or ice, both of which then vaporized. This explanation is purely speculation, is subject to change, and is by no means definitive. What has sparked further discussion and speculation, however, is the suggestion that Cerberus Fosse could mean there is warm magma, a source of heat, beneath the surface of Mars. This, coupled with existing assumptions of groundwater, could be enough to support some form of life. Furthermore, the heat of the magma, with it being so close to the surface of Mars, has the potential to melt some permafrost, producing liquid water which can be absorbed and leak through cracks in rocks. This environment, warm and wet, could support life on Mars. The idea that these could be suitable conditions is supported by the work and answers found under the Earth 4D project. The work, led by Barbara Sherwood Loller at the University of Toronto, found that some life on Earth is able to survive without any sunlight whatsoever. Who is to say the same cannot happen on Mars? One hazard that has eliminated the possibility of life on Mars in the past is the thin atmosphere and lack of ozone layer. This would expose life to deadly ultraviolet light and intense amounts of radiation. However, creatures living underground would be protected from both as well as the famously cold climate on Mars. Despite the environmental clues we continue to uncover, we are yet to discover any life itself on the Red Planet, and some people are convinced that it is not such a bad thing. Many scientists have speculated that meeting intelligent life may be dangerous for us. If they are more advanced than ourselves, they could cause us intentional harm. Though many concerns surrounding potential life on Mars focus on contamination and disease. How would human immune systems react to Martian microbes and vice versa? If there is no resistance to the foreign microbes, it could spell disaster for humans. After all, we have seen many times here on Earth that native populations can fall ill when new colonists arrive. This volcanic discovery presents research potential for so many avenues, making life on Mars a topic of research that is being seriously reconsidered. The Moon's comet-like tail shoots beams around the Earth. Unbeknownst to many, the Moon has a comet-like tail made of sodium. Even more curious is how the tail regularly shoots moonbeams around the Earth. But how exactly did this tail form? Due to the Moon's lack of atmosphere, when meteorites come barreling towards the Moon's surface, sodium atoms fly into orbit. These sodium atoms collide with the Sun's photons, directing them back toward the Moon and leaving a tail-like form trailing behind it. For a few days each month, the new Moon moves between the Earth and the Sun. During this time, from the part of the world that faces the Sun, we can see the Moon and the tail-like form, making the Moon look like a comet. Unfortunately, this is not visible to the naked eye. However, special cameras can see the way the Earth's gravity pinches the Moon's tail into a beam that wraps around the Earth's atmosphere and shoots into space from the opposite side of the planet. Even with high-tech cameras, the moonbeam is seen merely as a spot that varies in brightness. 
This moonbeam was first seen in the late 1990s, and still, scientists are baffled by the cause of the beam's changes in brightness. In November 1998, during the Leonid meteor shower, a team at the McDonald Observatory in Fort Davis, Texas, used an all-sky imaging camera. The experts were astonished when they saw a piece of sodium that remained in the sky for three nights. The sodium was seen on the side of the Earth facing away from the sun and continued to brighten as the new moon approached. The team continued their research to find out where this sodium could be coming from. After extensive research, the team concluded that the sodium was a result of the moon's comet-like tail stretching at least 500,000 miles from the moon. This means that the tail is likely sprinkling the Earth with sodium. However, the sodium is highly diffused, meaning we will not be finding dustings of sodium across our lawns. In the November 1998 Leonid meteor shower, the moon spot appeared brighter during the peak of the shower. Scientists suspect that the meteor shower created imprints that chipped off enough sodium to make more bright and more luminous spots. With this thinking, it is suspected that if a substantially sized meteor collided with the moon with enough speed, it may be able to impact enough sodium that the moon beam could be visible from Earth with the naked eye. Deep in a cave, Neanderthals constructed mysterious ring structures 176,000 years ago. Before the arrival of Homo sapiens in Europe, Neanderthals explored the old continent in search of caves in which to protect themselves from the climate and predators. One of these places is the Brunacal Cave, east of Montauban, southeast of France, since 1990. Numerous bones and marks of the passage of these hominids have been found. One of these findings is now described in the journal Nature. At a depth of 336 meters, the researchers found up to 400 stalagmites cut and accumulated in four rings. For the team, this did not appear to be a coincidence. By dating its age, the experts calculate that this composition is between 176,000 and 200,000 years old, a period that corresponds to the presence of the first Neanderthals in Europe and about 140,000 years before the arrival of modern man on the continent. According to the researchers, the finding gives strength to the theory that Neanderthals already used complex expressive skills such as symbolic language. These structures, called speleofacts by scientists, accumulate a total weight of 2.2 tons and 112 meters in length. The Neanderthals aligned them in four rows of circles and stacked them, after tearing them from the cave wall. The realization of the rings was carefully planned, say the researchers, because they used stalagmites of similar size. To avoid collapse, the figures were propped up. In addition, traces of construction elements and traces on the walls from which the stalagmites were extracted have been found in the area. But the meaning and function of this composition is a mystery. Being located in the depth of the cave, where light barely reaches, the team, led by Jacques Jabeur, professor of prehistory at the University of Bordeaux in France, suggests that it could have ritual purposes, but does not rule out that the Neanderthals used this space to store the water that filtered through the walls. This discovery astonishes researchers, as it is not only the oldest evidence of the Neanderthals' building capacity, but also of their control of fire before the arrival of Homo sapiens in Europe. But what do you make of these scientific discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.